Kevin Durant, the Antichrist, is the seven-headed beast that people say is going to take the league by storm. There is a slayed savior named Gulf King LeBron James as lost in the first round to the Phoenix Suns, and you have the mindless drones of sheep saying that he's finished. Now let me tell you, is that Gulf King LeBron is going to win the 77th NBA Finals. Revelation is the 66th book in the Bible. LeBron won his first championship during the 66th NBA Finals with the Miami Heat. LeBron, the newborn king, will be coronated to finish with the 6-6 six and six record in the NBA Finals. Revelation is playing out in the 77th NBA Finals in 2023. Is because LeBron is going to be coronated King James over at the birthplace of Michael Jordan. Brooklyn, the NBA's GOAT, the LA Lakers all have 112 and 40. It is also revenge that is too much of 40. For Durant, for the GOAT, King LeBron James won his fifth championship during the 76 NBA Finals. Laker repeat, the Ty Jordan of the Bulls. LeBron's tie and Michael Jordan during the 77th NBA Finals because he is the greatest of his era. It is Book of Revelation that has Demacia 77. This is why LeBron's tie in Jordan to have a 6-6 six six record in the NBA Finals. He's going to win the 77th NBA Finals to finish with the 6-6 six six Finals record, which, long and behold, is the 66th book, which is Revelation. The Christ resurrected again, playing power forward with Russ. Michael Jordan was the revelation back in his day. 6-4-6 six, six in the NBA Finals. That was the revelation of Michael Jordan being the false prophet in the NBA. LeBron finishes 6-6 six and six in the Finals to tie Jordan of the Bulls. To take the crown as King James, the newborn king, resurrected on the third day, the third Lakers championship, with Go King LeBron tie Michael Jordan in Lakers and title and the number of the beast having Jamachi of 66. Hold on a second. Keep that thought because resurrection is Jamachi of 66. 46 books in the Old Testament. All LeBron's done. He lost to the Suns. Resurrection. The Lake Show. It's Phoenix. I so much of 46. It has everything to do with Chicago. Because Phoenix and Chicago has so much of 46. This is a Jesuit ritual too for LeBron. They think he's done. He's never coming back again. He's washed up. He's done. Oh my God, oh my God. 46 has everything to do with the Jesuits. This is why we have a Jesuit president right now in the White House being Joe Biden. The Lake Show, Resurrect, Phoenix has to march of 46. Go King LeBron is resurrected. Society of Jesus is to march of 56. Phoenix Suns, the Big Apple, Coronavirus, Inverted Stars, Society of Jesus, Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant. Five and six. Bucks NBA champion last year. In six and six. It all has to do with the 66 book being revelation. This is why this is happening during the 77th NBA Finals. Precisely why all this, after losing the Devin Booker... Is when the book of Revelation happens in the 77th NBA Finals. The 66th book. It's so obvious. And you know what the funny thing is about Kevin Durant? He's born the year of the dragon. Kevin Durant is the Antichrist. Kevin Durant. Born at Washington. Lakers got Russell Westbrook. Warriors. The Antichrist. LeBron. Going to defeat the Warriors at Chase Center 
He's about to chase Michael Jordan, 11-1, playoff record with the Lakers, 12-1 after he beats the Warriors and then beats the Nets in the 2023 NBA Finals. Go King LeBron is defeating the Warriors in the 2023 Conference Finals. It's happening. It happening. When you look at the book of Revelation, Kevin Durant the Dragon is the Antichrist that has to be slain. Because the Antichrist has taken over the world. He has completely sacrificed LeBron James. Sacrificing his finals record. Joining a super team Warriors team that literally slept, sleepwalked through two championships. Kevin Durant and the Warriors are just dominating the NBA by storm. LeBron needed something to do. He needed to go find his own legacy somewhere else in Los Angeles. Then Kevin Durant decides to bring James Harden to form another super team. Wicked, wicked Kevin Durant the Dragon. The Antichrist, a seven-headed beast. This is why Kevin Durant wears number seven. He's the goddamn beast. That's who Kevin Durant is. A great dragon with seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns on his head, drags a third of the stars of heaven with his tail and throws them down to the earth. The dragon waits for the birth of the child so he can devour it. However, sometime after the child is born, he is caught up to God's throne while the woman flees into the wilderness into her place for period of God that they should feed her there for 1260 days. War breaks out in heaven between Michael and the dragon, identified as that old Serpent, the devil, or Satan. After a great fright, the dragon and his angels are cast out of heaven for good, followed by praises of victory for God's kingdom. The dragon engages to pers persecute the woman, but she is given aid to evade him. Her evasiveness enrages the dragon, prompting him to wage war against the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have they testimony of Jesus Christ a beast with seven heads ten horns and ten grounds on his horns emerges from the sea having one mortally wounded head that is then healed the people of the world wander and follow the beast everyone saying Kevin Durant's the head of the league everyone saying Kevin Durant's the face of the league the dragon gear grants him power and authority for 42 months. The beast of the sea blasphemies God's name, wages war against the saints and overcome them. Then a beast emerges from the earth having two horns like a lamb, speaking like a dragon. He directs people to make an image of the beast of the sea who was wounded yet lives, breathing life into it and forcing all people to bear the mark of the beast, the lamb stands on Mount Zion with the 144,000 first fruits who are redeemed from earth and victorious over the beast and his bark and image. Seven bowls are poured onto earth. Lots of seven. First bowl, a foul and magnificent sword afflicts the followers of the beast. Second bowl, the sea turns to blood and everything within it dies. Third bowl, all fresh water turns into blood. Fourth, the sun scorches the earth with intense heat, even burns some people with fire. The fifth bowl, total darkness and great pain in the beast kingdom. Sixth bowl, the great river Euphrates is dried up and preparations are made for the kings of the east in the final battle of Armageddon between the forces of good and evil. Seventh bowl, a great earthquake and heavy oil storm. Every island, by the way, in the mountains were not found. Aftermath, vision of John given by an angel at the seven bowls. The great harlot who sits on a scarlet beast with seven heads and ten horns and names of blasphemy over its body and by many waters, Babylon the Great. The angel showing John the vision of the harlot and scare, scarlet beast reveals their identities and fates. New Babylon's destroyed. People of the earth mourn new Babylon's destruction. The judgment of the two beasts, the dragon and the dead. The beast and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. The dragon is imprisoned in the bottomless pit for a thousand years. The resurrected martyrs live and reign with Christ for a thousand years. After the a thousand years, the dragon is released and goes out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth and gathers them for battle at the holy city. 
The dragon makes war against the people of God, but is defeated. The dragon is cast to the lake of fire with the beast and the false prophet. The last judgment, the wicked along with death and Hades are cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. The new heaven and earth, a new Jerusalem, a new heaven and new earth replace the old one. God comes to dwell with humanity. The river of life and the third tree of life appear for the healing of the nations and peoples. The curse of sin is ended. In conclusion, Christ's reassurance that his coming is imminent. LeBron is here. The newborn king is here to slay the dragon, Kevin Durant. He fucked up the league already. Kevin Durant's right out of now the super team. And everyone's here saying the Nets are dynasty. And that's our dynasty. Kevin Durant, who represents everything wicked with the devil. Be selfish. Be selfish. His dad told him, who cares what people think? Chase those two fake hoax unearned rings. Go ahead and be selfish because the king has rebuilt his kingdom in L.A. Has built the Lakers from missing the playoffs to be in NBA championships to being retooled again. This is the legend of Gavin, this local King LeBron James. The dragon will be slain in the NBA Finals not once but twice. The trumpet is coming. Go King LeBron James is a star ready to defeat the Antichrist and the false prophet, the false messiah, the false prophet is James Harden. This dude is a fake. He's a fake King James. That is who James Harden is. This guy is the false prophet they're talking about. Now, devil and serpent, devil is Demetria 25. Kevin is Demetria 25. The dragon, Kevin Durant. The seven headed beast, Kevin Durant. 32 playoff wins. Go King LeBron defeats the Brooklyn Nets. The almighty newborn king. Go King LeBron James defeats the super team. Defeats the super team Brooklyn Nets. They called Kevin Durant a snake all the damn time. The serpent is Kevin Durant. That's 49 right there. That's Kevin Durant. The false prophet. The false prophet has to be the fake King James. It has to be. It has to be. James Harden's the false prophet because the newborn king is here to win. Newborn King LeBron Raymond James. When Michael Jordan, 60 years of age, Mr. Six and on the NBA Finals, ties Michael Jordan. That is the real King James. The false prophet is James Harden, the fake King James. The ultimate faker is James Harden. That is who he is. James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets are all fakers. Because Leg Goat is winning in time Michael Jordan when he's 60 years of age. Ah! So the real fakers are the Brooklyn Nets. You all thought the Lakers were the fakers. The sheep are being mislead. The sheep think the Nets are winning. Screaming A. Smith and all them people like Mad Max and Calvin. All these people are saying, oh my god, Brooklyn Nets going to win the championship. LeBron, he's done, oh no, Lakers, too old, da da da, Brooklyn Nets, younger, da 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 da. Seven headed beast, Kevin Durant! You see what's happening? Kevin Durant's gonna get slain! He thinks he has his Super Team Warriors and dominates. He got slain against the Raptors. He thinks he has his Super Team, the Brooklyn Nets, they're gonna be up against the Lakers, so you know what? The newborn king comes again. He slays the dragon. He slays the seven headed beast. The great red dragon, Kevin Durant. He wears number seven because this guy is the Antichrist. Kevin Durant's an absolute faker. This is where you get a real King LeBron winning the 2023 NBA Finals. 
It's very clear what number seven is all about. It's very clear what Kevin Durant being born in the year of the dragon is all about. It's very clear what the Brooklyn Nets owner being born in 1964, the year of the dragon, is all about. And you get the Antichrist having to march over 154 in 64. LeBron's the chosen newborn king of the league. Kevin Durant does get slain by the greatest player ever in this era. Go King LeBron James. He's coming. The trumpet is coming. Go King LeBron James. Can you believe it? The second coming of King James. The first coming was against the Warriors. He was with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And number two is going to be with the Gold King LeBron League show to come back and win game seven and come back and absolutely take over and absolutely dismantle the beast in the 2023 NBA Finals.